What's going on? Right? How you doing? Kobe Durant. You doing good. Kobe, Kobe Durant. Yes, sir. When I went to school at Jackson State, coming from a small school in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, it was a good days back there during that time. And the scouts stayed on Jackson State campus. Every time I look up, we had scouts on that campus. We had four or five scouts every day almost on campus. Then on down the line, they stopped going to HBCU schools. They stopped going to they the stopped Power going. Five. We had too many guys that could have had the opportunity to go to that next level. All they wanted is an opportunity and a chance, and they just didn't get that chance. And now I'm looking at it, they're kind of coming back to the HBCU schools and kind of giving those guys a little bit of chance. Now, I just had some great coaches back there during that time, and they stayed on my back and told me what I could do and what I couldn't do. And I knew what I could do. Uh, the, the good thing about it is that I would never let nobody tell me that I was too small, that I couldn't play in the NFL, I couldn't go nowhere, I couldn't go to the other school. But back during that time, I represented myself when I went on that field. I said, hey, I'm from an HBCU school, Jackson State, and I represent it. And that's what you're standing on. And that's what I'm going yes, on. Yes, sir. And that's how, that's how I was, too. I just came in with a chip on my shoulder um, ever since coming from, like, high school. I had zero offers coming out of high school, just like you. I actually walked on to South Carolina State. I had to sit out the whole 2017 season and rolled over 2018 season. And I sat in Coach Pew's office, and I told him, he wouldn't regret giving me this opportunity for me to um, be able to step on the field with him. So, and before you know it, after 2018 spring spring ball, I was on scholarship. The hard work and dedication paid off. See, that's that's the key because, like I said, you you did exactly what I did because when I came out of school, I was determined not to let nobody turn me around. Right. And uh, like I said, I, when I go out and talk to the young kids today, and I tell them, never let nobody tell you what you can't do. If all you got to do is look in that mirror and point that finger, point that finger, and that's who's going to say what you can't do. So you go out there and you bust your butt and do what you have to do to get it done because if that's what you want, if you, if you don't want it, I can understand. But if you got it in your heart, your you mind, your mentality. soul, you've got, hey, you can go get it done. Yes, sir. This is right here, the HBCU Hall of Fame. This is the year I went in here. I went in the HBCU Hall of Fame, okay. and you got all these guys, and, and one of the guys that really... This guy right here, Deacon Jones. Deacon Jones. Deacon Jones, the one that really made the game. Yes, sir. And James Shaq Harris and Doug Williams, they, they started it. Yes, sir. And they got uh, all these guys that you can see here that went through the Hall of Fame, went from, from college to the pros. But you look at these guys here like... Donnie Shell. Donnie Shell. South Carolina South State. South Carolina State. Yes, sir. You got, you got about four or five guys in there from South Carolina State, so that goes to show you, if those guys can do what they, if this here, you can do the same thing. do the same thing. But like yes, I sir. keep saying, don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Yes, don't let nobody tell you too small, because if you look and see where I came from, you can't be no smaller than I was, 155 pounds coming out of high school and college. Yes, sir. And so your ultimate goal is be successful and be as good as you want to be. Yes, sir.